Hey everybody, Coach Bess here. And I just wanted to show you my little process here for one of my 15 minute dinners. Um, the reason you're not seeing my face at this moment is because I am not made up and um, having a very rough uh, health day, pain, a lot of chronic pain today uh, with this condition that I battle. So, you know, tonight had to be easy. So I was like, you know, this is a great thing to um, film and pop into the group because I know many of you are struggling with long-term journeys. You're struggling with chronic pain, possibly long-term weight loss. And this is one of those dinners that is win-win on days like today when I am not feeling fancy, but I know I need to put something fresh in my body. And so this is our Napa um, cabbage grilled chicken salad. And so because I'm a meal planner and I'm really big into meal planning, um, this is so easy to do because I always make sure I have the stuff on hand and I've always got grilled chicken in the fridge. In fact, let me keep that pointed there. Um, and let me pull my grilled chicken out so you can see how that looks. Um, it's so weird not to show you my face and talk to you because, uh, I usually show you my face. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, woman. So here's the grilled chicken that's going to go on this salad. And so this was something that I made on Sunday when I grilled a whole bunch of other stuff. So I've got the grilled chicken already done and ready to go. I'm just going to slice and dice it and throw it in. I'm going to take this big bowl and I throw in a bunch of my Napa cabbage, which is this little guy here. And so that you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like in the store. Um, of course, I chopped off the beautiful green end of the leaves. But... Um, this is such a delicious cabbage. My kids think they're eating lettuce. They don't, they don't feel like it's a cabbage because it's fluffy like lettuce, see? And it's so rich um, with minerals and vitamins, you guys, just like all the other cabbages. Cabbages are so good for us. Did you guys know that there's as much, or I think there's more vitamin C in cabbage than there is in an orange, um, you know, weight for weight. So cabbage is really good for us when we're feeling not feeling so hot. Hey, woman, I see you, my friend. And so then I take, well, the first thing I do actually while I'm chopping these things is I make the dressing, I make my own dressing for this salad. And I use canola oil, which I know there's a lot of debate about what oils are good for us and what are not. You're going to hear all different types of uh, conversation around that. But after a lot of research, I'm sticking with my canola oil for my dressings um, and I actually do I actually use olive oil a lot but I feel like it's too heavy for this dressing so I'm subbing with canola um, soy sauce I use the um, less sodium or low sodium or you can use uh, Bragg's um, so uh, soy sauce I think it's called uh, what's it called Laura Laura type what that's called you use that a lot and then the apple cider vinegar is what's in this dressing and I'm gonna post the recipe for you guys right now so that you have it and then I use pure maple syrup or honey to sweeten it because it needs a little bit of sweetening and all I've done is combine them and like I said you'll see the recipe when I post it but I've got these combined in here and I cooked them for like 30 seconds so that everything would blend and then I'm cooling it and I'll put it in my nice little dressing dispenser here and then over here Bragg's aminos thank you Laura Hey, Kimberly, you beautiful woman. Yes, Bragg's Soy Aminos. That's exactly what I was trying to say. And I'm telling you, it's a rough day. I was saying earlier in this video that the reason you're not looking at my face today is because I'm having a very rough health day and I do not feel well and I'm not putting makeup on, but I did want to show this recipe. So this is the crunchies, we call them. The girls and I and Juan, we like crunchies on our salads. It's got a lot of sliced almond some sesame seeds, and a little bit of dry ramen just crunched up. So if you're gluten-free or you don't want the carb from the dry ramen, you can definitely swap it out just for nuts. Um, okay, yes, Kimberly, yes, I would, I would agree with that. I use it quite a bit. Um, today I used the, lo the low-sodium soy sauce because I ran out of Bragg's. I need more on payday, which is this weekend. And then I'm going to add a little more green even than what I've already got in here, which is the Napa cabbage. I'm going to add some diced up green onions, which just gives it just such a light um, onion taste. It's not overbearing. 
and I throw those in with that whole head. I'll chop that whole head of Napa and I'll throw in just a few strands of the green onions. There was probably like a half a dozen um, strands there. And then you can tell that I'm not speaking well today because I'm not feeling well. And then this is cilantro, fresh cilantro. And I'm going to get a good full handful. I'm going to chop it up and I'm going to throw that in there. And then I chill the Napa cabbage chopped with the cilantro and the green onions so that those flavors blend before we eat it. And then we top it with our crunchies. We throw in our dressing, almost like a marinade. And then I'm gonna chop a little bit of this chicken, well, all of this chicken, because there's very little left, and throw those little pieces of grilled chicken in with it. And we've got a one pot dinner. I did not have to stress or drive through. I spent, by the time I'm gonna be completely done with this, because I meal prepped and did my grilled chicken on Sunday for the week, I'm really gonna spend maybe 12 minutes on this whole process. So I will post this recipe for you guys so that you can add it to your roundup um, and have a little light dinner for those, those nights when you just don't wanna be fancy, but you wanna feed your family right and you wanna feed your body, like my body's fighting something right now. So I wanna give it all that vitamin C and all the nutrients and all the vitamins and minerals that, that's in this food. And especially like this right here, this is an immune booster, this is a, a, a illness fighter. So gosh, I wanna put that cilantro um, into my body. Yes, that's my new baby. That's my new Nutribullet. Love that thing. So thank you guys for joining me for just a few minutes. I apologize for um, my, you know, the way I am today, but you know, this is such a great idea and I just wanted to give you a little inspiration on this Tuesday afternoon. This has been Coach Bess and I love you guys and next time you'll see my face <laughs> and I will talk to you guys soon. You take care. Oh, and look for the recipe. I'll post it under this uh, video a little bit later. Me too, Kimberly. Good to see you, woman. I love these. I wish I could see your face, but good to see you regardless. And Laura, I hope you're feeling better today. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Thank you, woman. I love you too. And I will talk to you guys soon. Be blessed, y'all.